Good morning. Um, so the dream state, um, in the dream state, there was a duplex. There was a duplex. There was all a living area on this side and a living area on this side, two different renters, but I'm not sure if they were renting or yeah, they were renting. Okay. So they were both renting, but the one side had like an inside look on the other side like some stocking stuff, like some stocking stuff. Um, yeah, it was weird. And so, it was like a hidden camera thing with where the one side of the duplex was watching the other side of the duplex and just knew exactly what was up. Okay. Um, yeah, very highly illegal. There was also like a hotel room that was being lived in. Okay. The basis of living in this hotel room was to be in the same town as someone else in order to stalk them. And then there was a different scenario of someone living in a hotel room and then, um, another stalker living in that same hotel room in order to stalk <laughs> um also with hidden cameras heavy 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 harassment okay um invasion of privacy um trying to set people up even if it's just to like even see what that person's doing <laughs> but like extreme level of stalking extreme level of stalking um yeah not healthy not healthy at all um <clears throat> yeah that's where i'm just gonna i'm just gonna leave it there <laughs> um Let's do tarot. I'm gonna do the star tarot. I feel like we haven't do, done the star tarot in a while. Someone's like trying to not get so close. Someone's trying to not get so close so that you don't pick up on their energy. <laughs> I'm hearing jazz. Maybe somebody likes to listen to jazz. Or maybe that's a nickname. Something's being balanced out. These like I'm hearing vicious, like vicious, like, I don't know how, how, how it's vicious, like maybe name calling or maybe like plots. I'm getting like someone's just a, a sh an instigator, man, an instigator. Yeah. They could be in, in heavy addiction. Somebody's obsessed with demonizing someone. Ooh, someone also took action to like call upon something. And now there's there's a man and a woman whose souls are compromised. Um for making deals with the devil. What the fuck? Somebody could be seeing a lot of crows lately. I've been seeing a lot of crows lately. I love seeing crows. I feel like crows are probably my spirit animal. I feel I feel like really connected to God when I see a crow.
there's a water sign imposter who wants to like give a steady offer or at least look like they're stable but they're not they're not <sighs> yeah something's getting like wrapped up something's like on the on, at the end someone somebody's at the end of their rope with this one with this trying to demonize someone like you are that okay listen closely to what people say to you because um when they're talking this much shit okay when they're talking this much shit on a queen of cups who's like really well like all all knowing very intuitive okay a queen of cups is very intuitive a very nurturing very loving um operates out of a space of love um maybe that's not where initially they like come from but once they take a step back and meditate because they're very spiritual that is that's where they operate from um ultimately um when you're trying to sell something on a queen of cups okay it's best just not to because because they're so spiritual um Anything that they do will be stable and grounded. So any any sort of way, it'll just, it'll be contradicting to what you say, man. And you'll just look like a straight liar. You'll just look like a straight liar to the person that you like, that you're trying to convince um, that this person is demonic. Okay, that's the end of that. And you look like a fool. And you look like a fool for money. And it just is what it is. You look like a like a gold digger, and a gold digger could be a man, too. Okay, tower moment because this person is gonna get peace. Okay, and if you didn't gather to stalk them so hard, you wouldn't mind because you'd be busy on your own craft. But it's just not the case. Okay, God saw what you did. You tried to have a tower moment happen in this person's life. Mm -hmm. You worked with somebody's family to do this, to bring in this person's harvest. And this person spoke very clear about it. <laughs> uh, somebody like tried to order the people that they, their lovers, the people that they're sleeping with. Okay. So someone like pried their way into a relationship, into a soulmate connection. Somebody pried their way into a soulmate connection, okay, with the gift of the gab. They could be an air sign, very like Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay, can can really really be persuasive, I'm hearing. Okay, but there was an ordained connection and this person felt outside of it. So they pried their way in with the gift of the gab to cause conflict. Okay, this this lover, this uh, this other lover. Okay, this other woman lover, um, intuitively knew this. That this person was trying to pry in. To end something. Okay. And they did. They ended a childhood relationship, or maybe you guys had just some sort of really close bond, or good memories, or. Um, something that made you feel like um, this person was home, okay? But you were with this, you could have been with this other person longer, this person that pried their way in. They pried their way in because they were stalking, okay? The only reason that they knew about this, that they were aware about this, is because they were stalking. Okay, they felt left out in the cold. But this is how they made you felt the entire relationship. 
So it, they had no right to do that, to pry their way in. Okay, they're self-serving, selfish person who wanted to cause illusions around this. Okay, and the fact that you even moved on and found someone that felt like home and they weren't that, and you know, there is this sort of resentment that came with that. So they're gonna pry their way in and they're gonna fuck you over and they're gonna steal you because they're conflicted inside. Like, you know what, even if I get you, I'm gonna treat you like shit. As if you thought you could be happy. Oh, just a, just a miserable person, right? I'm hearing as if you think you deserve love. Everybody deserves love, okay? There, were, There's someone made for everyone, okay? Who've been through the same things or have a good understanding of it. So... This person just had a shitty outlook. A shitty outlook on life. Yeah, it's like this person's like having a fit before something ends. Like, I'm gonna go down kicking and screaming. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Ooh, hermit. Someone could have got a PI or something to be able to cast judgment. Someone wanted to dig some dirt up on someone so that they'd be able to like, bring it to light. <laughs> Corruption when it comes to um, these investments, what you could bring in. Somebody gathered to like, look into somebody's investments and, and hide it, cover it up. Somebody's looking into like everybody's investments to decide who to like milk. Mm hmm Yeah. And if this person doesn't have like, if they don't have a strong like, um, I don't know, like a belief system or like boundaries, like there's a way to weasel in, okay, they will. Okay, somebody has the tech to look into something like that, look into everybody's investments. All they need to do is like figure out what bank they're at or something. <laughs> or not even that, I don't even know, but. Somebody's looking into bank cameras, like the cameras at banks. How would you even do that? I don't even understand that, but. Also, there's like an, there was like an inside job. There's like someone investigating like somebody's finances at a bank. They realized that there was a group, a group behind like taking someone's harvest for themselves and trying to cover it up. Okay, there's a tower moment when it comes to that as well. There will be judgment which is burdensome for these people because God forbid you get your own investments. <laughs> Just sounds stupid, right? It's because it is. These people are entitled and ignorant. <clears throat> they want to give you a steady offer because they feel like judgment's coming down on this group, okay? There's a woman, this woman who is like go kicking down, uh, kicking down, oh. This woman who is like going down, kicking and screaming, like trying to have a fit, okay? They wanna do something here, but they're too, they're too um, weighed down by their actions, it seems like. Like if you go and say something or do something, it just proves that you're a part of that group and you will be ignored, okay? It'll be pointless to even say or do anything. Especially if it's one of these people that you were looking into their finances in order to group up and take action to have like a policy taken out. This person will like 
automatically know who you are okay or what you are just by what you say right listen to what people say because they'll tell you exactly what they're up to okay and if they're talking shit about somebody else they'll tell you exactly like read between the lines people like when people are talking right if they're telling you that someone's jealous of them, that stole from them, that is stalking them, that is this, 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 and this, and you never ever see that person that they're talking about all near them ever, okay? They are telling the truth about themselves and who they are stalking. And who they hate because of what they got or how they operate. Which just is what it is. Balanced out. This person is unfazed. They don't care. They don't care to be a part of what you're trying to instigate. They feel it energetically and they balance it out. Um, very spiritually equipped, mature, okay? And you know this before because you try to do something like <clears throat> bibbity bobbity whatever <laughs> some magic on this person and it didn't work it didn't work somebody's heartbroken because so they're acting like they're in they're acting like they they're acting like they want to take action like they want to say something like they got something to say like whatever but really internally they're heartbroken. That's a front, okay? They're heartbroken because you're finally going to get equal give and take and they couldn't give this to you. And you gave them a lot. They're working on a way to end something here. Or at least they're trying to. They want to end your work. They want to end this person's work. Okay, they just want endings. Someone could have took action to steal and now they want to like apologize or like um, give some sort of retribution. Retribution. You walked away from this. These people of the past, and now they're they're trapped in their head because they got to go to jail and you get this money that they stole. It's the end of that. It's the end of that. So the world came out, okay? This comes, like... This will be laid to rest, this entire situation, okay? And this jealous woman is aware of that, okay? If if not, if not, like, physically aware of it, energetically aware. This person's a real hater, man, and that's why they're saying that you are. And they're really jealous, and that's why they're saying that you are. They're trying to create stagnancies and endings. But then try to act like they're peaceful. It's just not. If you were peaceful, you wouldn't be in the midst of that chaos. Okay. No, it's just not true. It's just super contradicting. Okay. And then the, the person, the, the energy that you're trying to attack is very tame. Keeps to themselves. Okay, just doesn't add up because it's not the truth. It's like the, the, the amount that you put towards hating this person and being like trying to attack this person, cause endings for this person, lay this person to rest, have people be enlightened on what you think about this person, okay, or what this person does to you, which isn't true. Okay, it, it allows someone to be intrigued. <laughs> it's like, damn, like, 
there, there's something about this person, isn't there, right? And then they, they look and they see the calm demeanor, how this person stays to themselves, and they're attracted. Okay, so you did that. You brought the attraction to this person. Okay. Now this person's looking into someone and they're like emotional. Somebody might want to like manifest greatness and ignore what's been causing them anxiety, which is this, this woman, these lovers, this community trying to like put certain lovers on a pedestal. Okay. And the reason why these, this community was trying to put certain level lovers, love levels, lovers on a pedestal. Okay. It was because they were getting something out of you missing these opportunities. And now they're in anxiety because you no longer see eye to eye with them. And this is your justice, okay? These people were also putting these people on a pedestal so that you wouldn't see eye to eye of the person that they're talking shit about too. And that's also justice that you move on from these illusions. This confusion. This blindsiding energy that is this entire community. Okay. So whoever that is for, but I was getting like heavily, he heavy masculine energy. It's like something, something was over before it could begin because of how many people were invested in this. Okay. Invested in taking over somebody else's investments and they didn't want this person to have any help. Okay. And you're just too much help. Okay. You're just way too much help. You'd just be way too much help. This person would be protected. This, all, this person's also guarded towards you because they know the truth. So, um, even if these people are really hating on the fact that you would want to, like, do some sort of retribution or, or ask for some sort of forgiveness, like, I'm good luck getting those walls down, man. Good luck. You're going to have to think about that one because, um, It'd be like really delicate work. Um, so I don't even know why they're like so crazy over it. <laughs> what else, spirit? It's really beautiful outside. It's really beautiful outside today. Yeah, this is what I was talking about, like this being intrigued, right? I'm moving towards my goals with passion and enthusiasm. Someone's excited, okay? And and the spotlight, like the, the reason that they're excited is because of all the hate. All the hate and then the contrast when they take a look, okay? These, these past people were trying to attack someone, okay? They were excited to do it too. Um, but all it did was bring respect on someone's name. Someone's like trying to pull up pictures, videos, whatever they can to like antagonize, to to disrupt, to um, impose, to instigate. Okay, but this it's nothing that this person doesn't already um, hasn't already dealt with, hasn't already faced on their own, hasn't already embraced. Okay, and let go of. They've already dealt with this. Okay, as an individual. So it's not like it can ever affect them. It's beneath them. Okay, it's like a it's like a few lessons behind them. This person's already dealt with their losses, their regrets. They've already moved on with their life. Like even you ever bringing up any sort of video that was illegally taken, by the way any sort of picture that was illegally taken, by the way, okay, would only work against you because it was illegally taken, by the way. It's 
just dumb. <laughs> this person does make the right decisions ultimately, okay? And that's why they're more mature than you. And that's why you have lots of regrets and this person has none. Okay, that's why you feel at a loss and this person feels like they've made the best decision of their life because they respect themselves and they've learned from everything that they've been through on an emotional, physical, all the levels, all of them. Like massive improvements due to alignment and People don't know till that person's just fucking gone, man. Gone. And maybe phys physically still there, but just so, so surpassed anybody's ex expectations, right? That's how you know that that person has God in their life. They just embrace that present moment and they make the best out of it. And you're like, how is that person so happy? How is that person still compassionate, right? They protect their energy. That doesn't really affect them like you think it does. They got really, 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 really good at handing things over. Um, yeah, and they make the right decisions. They make the right decisions based on what they want in life. Of course, I'm going to be happy when I do everything based on what would make me happy. When I set my priorities based on me being number one, of course I'm going to be happy, okay? And of course I'm going to be open to love because I'm so happy. <laughs> and, and sometimes I'm not, and that's okay. I got to feel my way through that and let it go. And then I'm back happy. <laughs> so what you say about me just doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up because it's not true. You see? Coward. Could be somebody's ex. Lawyer in reverse, blockages in the reverse. Excuse me. Somebody could have got rid of their lawyer. Their lawyer had weird connections to their ex, okay? Somebody's ex slept with their lawyer. <laughs> they thought they were going to get a raise, secret enemy, okay? Because they had a plot on your life. Communication, satisfied. Damn, that's ugly. Great, grateful. Jealousy changes. Pass. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> oh, shit. So, yeah, two more, please. Two more. Bitches be crazy, man. Debt. Dead. They thought that addiction, okay. So they thought that cancer. Somebody thought they had cancer or somebody had can. Oh, what is it? Somebody said they had cancer and they didn't. Okay. This person even forged documents to say that they had cancer from their doctor. <laughs> and they didn't. I've been a witness to someone doing that before, okay? And this this fucking idiot believed her too. Be careful because if you if you say that and you try to pull on people's heartstrings like that, don't be surprised when you end up getting fucking cancer, man. Especially if you're acting like <laughs> it's terminal, right? And you don't fucking have cancer. Don't manifest that in your life. Jeez. Jeez. And then what about all the other people who actually do have terminal cancer? Like you you suck. Like you're you trying to steal their fucking cancer thunder. Like what is that even? Tss. 
that's this <laughs> okay that's this somebody thought they were gonna get a raise raise the ante i'm hearing so someone could play poker somebody was satisfied okay this person's heavy in their addiction man this person was satisfied to keep you heavy in your addiction so that they can continue to block you Okay, somebody was in cahoots with this lawyer here who's no longer a blockage. So somebody fired their lawyer, which was good because they were a secret enemy. They were in communication with this freaking crazy man. And they were satisfied and, and so happy that you were in your addiction so that they could get this raise. Okay, they're a fucking coward. Business. Worker. Accident. For following along with this plan. But you're blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. And you continue to raise your vibration, which brings you satisfaction. It makes you happy. These people can no longer be a blockage. Okay? They can no longer be a blockage. Just by you rising, rising above. Not even really worrying about it, right? Fail. Yeah, this is what I was talking about, okay? Fail. What failed? These rumors, it just doesn't add up. It just doesn't add up. It's like inconsistent. It's like... The contrast is just like... Pfft. Why would you even say that? Because that's not even believable. Manipulation. This person was never going to fail. They have God in their, in their life. Okay? You're fucking greedy, man. You just wanted to raise manipulation. Judge in the reverse. That's a bad judgment call. Or a bad judge. Happiness. Yes, this person is happy. They will continue to be happy because they have God in their life. And they do things for themselves. Okay? They do what makes them happy. Because they are number one. God is number one too, right? That's who make that's who help makes these executive decisions in this person's life is God. Idiot. Someone feels like an idiot. Somebody feels like an idiot for believing this person. Manipulation, manipulating this person, manipulating the situation, manipulating their finances was priority number one. To get this raise out of greed. Okay, they felt like if they got this money, then finally they'd be harmonious. Okay, but they were celebrating off the back of other people, man. Okay, they're greedy. This person's happy. This person's not going to fail because they have God in their life. They'll be harmonious. And you'll be that idiot that tried to slander someone who's wise. Okay, that's a huge turnoff. Focus shifted. I'm going to read a Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. <clears throat> Clear that. And I'm going to close it out. Because. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so these people are freaking out. Okay. They're freaking out. But they're going to come try act chill. Okay. They're going to try act chill. Just be chill. Just be chill. Uh, just be chill. Okay. okay. Don't even say anything about her. <laughs> Don't even say anything about her. Like, you already did, man. You already did. You already did. So, like, maybe don't say anything else more, but it's already been taken there. <laughs> oh, shit. Somebody wants to... Oh, and last night I was getting sexually transmitted demons, okay? So somebody was like doing like some sort of weird thing i don't know what they're doing but they're reading something off and chanting something out okay um and they were trying to like schmooze someone i don't even know if that's a word but like they were trying to like butter someone up okay so that they'd sleep with them and give them a sexually transmitted demon like they had you had to fuck oh yep <laughs> to in order to get this onto you and it was super weird demonic like 
exactly how it sounds sexually transmitted demon and this demon was to make your life ruined like ruins okay and that's why they're like panicking panicking like everything ruined in your life So this person's like going to try to come play it cool and be like the queen of cups. <laughs> but really they're freaking out inside. Okay? Because it'll backfire onto them and you just got to let it. Like don't be don't be like getting buttered up by anyone. Just don't do it. Like, really, 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 really know and trust that person. If you don't, if you can't, if you have one smidgen of like, ah, uh, don't do it. Okay, let's do this one. Practice humility. Humility and inner peace go hand in hand. The less compelled you are to prove yourself to others, the easier it is to feel peaceful inside. Okay. Proving yourself, like, if you are affected by what people say, are like, you, you don't even, someone doesn't even know that they're affected by the people around them, like, trying to prove something, but they are, okay, slightly, if not a lot, and, um, they think that they, that all these people think the same, but it's not that they all think the same, they're just on the same fucking train to like not you not have you move on. Okay? So they're collaborating in the back. So it's not that they think the same. They have the exact same fucking plan. And to have you not think that they're they're having this plan as well. So if you think that you're not um affected by it, you actually are and like a lot of people need to be cut off. Um, in order to, to maintain this, like, have this humility and inner peace. Because I'm getting, like, someone's going to, like, mock you as you're trying to get inner peace. Okay? That just shows that these people are hand in hand working together. Okay? You're going to be less compelled to do these things that you need to do to get this inner peace and humility. Okay? They're going to try to fuck with your inner peace. Proving, to your, proving yourself is a dangerous trap. Mm -hmm. It takes an enormous amount of energy to be continually pointing out your accomplishments, bragging, or try to convince others of your worth as a human. Wow. Bragging practically dilutes the positive feelings out of you. Dilutes you from also receiving a, um, an accomplishment or something that you're proud of. Right? Have you ever felt really good about something? You're like, yeah, that's the right thing to do. That is the right thing to do. I feel compelled to do this. This is the right thing to do. This is the best thing to do. I feel really great about it. And then you go and tell someone and instantly you're deflated. Instantly they fucking kill it. <laughs> okay? Just keep those specials to yourself. Okay? And your higher power. You don't vindicate yourself. Okay? Because when you meet the right person, they're going to be just as excited as you are. Because they have a good understanding of, of who you are. Because that's a good... They have a good understanding of themselves. And that's why. Okay? That's your person. They won't make you feel like that. Diminished. Degraded. Um, depreciated. Um, undervalued. They won't make you feel like that. Love doesn't make you feel like that. Okay? Love is supporting and uplifting... And maybe a little bit harsh at sometimes, but you know that it was the best thing for you. Um, to make matters worse, the more you try to prove yourself, the more others will avoid you. Talk behind your back about your insecure need to brag and perhaps even resent you. Yeah, somebody's around people who just fucking resent them. Ironically, however, the less you care about seeking approval, the more approval you seem to get. 
People are drawn to those with a quiet inner confidence, people who don't need to make themselves look good or to be right all the time or to steal the glory. Okay, so if somebody is mature enough to recognize this and see this other person as intriguing. Most people love a person who doesn't need to brag. A person who shares from his or her heart and not from his or her ego. Wow. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> the way to develop genuine humility is to practice. It's nice because you'll get immediate inner feedback in the way of calm, easy feelings. The next time you have an opportunity to brag, resist the temptation. I discussed this strategy with a client. He shared the following story. He was with a group of friends a few days after he had been promoted at work. His friends didn't know yet, but my client was chosen to be promoted instead of another friend of theirs. He was a little competitive with this person and had a very strong temptation to sneak the fact that he had been chosen and the other friend wasn't. He felt himself about ready to say something, then a little voice inside him said, stop, don't do it. He went ahead and shared with his friends, but didn't cross the line and turn into sharing into gloat, turn that sharing into gloating. He never mentioned how the other friend didn't get promoted. He told them that he couldn't remember ever feeling so calm and proud of himself. He was able to enjoy his success without bragging. Later, when his friends did find out what happened, they let him know that they were extremely impressed with his good judgment and humility. He received more positive feedback and attention from practicing humility, not less. I'm going to end it out there. Have a good day, people.